Two massive storms in a row is pretty bad, but is it divine judgment upon the United States of America for its political sins? That's the claim of actress Jennifer Lawrence, who suggested the big storms are America's penance imposed by Mother Nature for not believing in global warming. Watch this. It's been proven through science that human activity, that climate change is due to human activity, and we continue to ignore it. And the only voice that we really have is through voting. Um, so and you have voted, at a, and we voted, country. and it was really startling. Um, you know, you're watching these hurricanes now, and it's really, it's hard, especially while promoting this movie, not to, not to feel Mother Nature's rage, wrath. Joe Concha writes about media for the Hill, and he joins us tonight. Joe, why is it that as people get richer and more famous, sometimes they get sillier and more out of touch. Have you noticed this? When you say richer, remember Jennifer Lawrence made $46 million last year. She's worth $110 million. And I don't want to seem insensitive towards the hurricane, so I got friends in Key West. Let me tell you a horrible story first. I had friends that lived on Long Beach Island, New Jersey, and their house got wiped yeah. out by Sandy. So they said, screw it, we're going to move to Key West. And now they just bought a house there. and. Uh, yeah, Tough. so I hope everything works out okay for them. Uh, back to uh, Jennifer for Lawrence. Sure. Uh, I'm not a doctor, uh, but since everybody's playing one on TV these days lately, they're playing psychiatrists. I've noticed. Sure. Yeah. Uh, let me give you my prognosis on Jennifer Lawrence. She's obviously suffering from Trump derangement syndrome, or in this case, it's an acute strain, ADTS. And this is a situation where apparently side effects are include blaming a sitting president for hurricanes hitting the U.S. mainland during hurricane season and you know it's funny I, I was asked by NPR I remember this after the election during an interview and they said how do you think Donald Trump won without any celebrity backing whatsoever and I'm thinking about it, I'm like yeah you know outside of like Scott Baio and Jimmy Woods uh, no one supported him and meanwhile Hillary Clinton was the toast of Tinseltown and I would believe that if you look at this situation Jennifer Lawrence would be exhibit A or in this case exhibit ADTS you got to kind of wonder, though, about the press coverage here. I mean, here you have one of the most famous actresses in the world on the eve of what looks like a catastrophe, making, using the storm and the impending human suffering to make a really stupid political statement. You'd think, like, the press would jump on her. Did they? No, you don't see really any coverage outside of any conservative blogs on this because, again, you, you get passes in these situations. And I think we got to have empathy for Jennifer Lawrence. You know, empathy obviously is when you could relate to somebody and feel sorry for them. And look, we could all relate to you yeah. and me, Tucker, three million people at home, uh, flying a private jet over to London and getting over the angst of hurricanes that are no threat to you and blaming a sitting president, perhaps for bad karma for creating hurricanes and being able to talk about your job and promoting movies while getting paid seven figures. I think that's something that we could all relate to. Being a celebrity is bad for your soul. 